Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. So you may remember a few months ago, I filmed a Zara vs Mango video. And it was a really popular video. Lots of you seemed to enjoy it. And I mentioned making it into a little bit of a series where I compare two different similar shops each time. So I've decided to give it another go and this time I will be comparing H&M and Topshop as they are another two of my favourite places to shop. They are pretty similar price range. H&M is slightly more affordable um, but they've got some really similar pieces in at the moment so I've just picked out 10 pieces from each shop and I will be comparing fit, quality and value for money. All of the items featured will be linked below along with the size that I ordered in case I forget to mention it. Um, and also if you are new to my channel and you haven't yet, then please do hit the subscribe button. And I will also leave my Instagram name up on the screen if you would like to follow me over there. Um, but yeah, let's get going with the video. Okay, so I've got two rather large bags from Topshop and then an even larger box <laughs> from H&M, it's very heavy. So I am just going to open them both up on the floor and then pull the same bits out from each shop and compare them. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with a pair of mum jeans because I love a good pair of mum jeans. I think especially coming into spring, they just look lovely styled with blazers and just a simple t-shirt and a leather jacket. So I have picked two pairs of mum jeans to try out. These are the first ones and these ones are from H&M and they look like a lovely wash, really like the color of the denim. They feel really nice, nice and soft, a little bit of stretch in them, but not too much. I don't like mum jeans to be too stretchy, um, but I have ordered these in a size UK eight, and yeah, they look good length, they look a good wash. I'll see how they look on. And then these are the Topshop ones, and I love Topshop jeans. I just think they fit so well. I actually did a video on lots of different styles of Topshop jeans last year. Um, so if you do want to see how all the different styles fit, then I'll leave that video linked below. Um, but yeah, these look like a really nice wash. They're slightly darker than the other ones. I'll just compare them. So you can see these are slightly lighter, which would be lovely for spring. And these feel a little bit thicker as well than these ones. Um, but I will pop them both on and compare them a little bit better when they're on. Okay, so first up are the H&M ones, and these feel so comfortable on, especially for a mum jean, because usually mum jeans don't have a lot of stretch in them, and obviously these have got a little bit, and they just feel lovely, like you could sit around in them, and they wouldn't cut in or dig in, like sometimes denim can do. Um, yeah, so really comfortable. The fit is pretty good as well. They fit really nice on the bottom and the waist. There is like a ever so tiny little bit that kind of kicks out at the top of the waist. Um, but apart from that, they fit really good and they feel comfortable. They don't feel like they're gonna slip down at all. And then this is how the Topshop ones look on. And comfort wise, I would definitely give it to H&M. Um, obviously I've only just put these on, so I don't know, but they just didn't have as much stretch. So putting them on was a little bit more of a squeeze. But having said that, once they're on, they fit so well. They kind of feel like they hold you in a bit more than the H&M ones. They fit really nice on the waist. There's no gap at all at the back. And they're just a really nice, flattering shape. Um, and I quite like the wash of these as well, that slightly darker tone. I think they look a little bit more expensive. So for comfort, I would have to say the H&M ones win. And for quality, I would probably say the Topshop ones do, just because they are that little bit thicker and they feel really good quality. Um, but both are really good pairs of mum jeans. Okay, the next thing I ordered to compare are two black faux leather shirts. And if you saw my H&M video a couple of weeks ago, you will know that I tried on a black faux leather shirt in there. It wasn't the same as this one. Um, that one was actually sold out online now. But I spotted this one and thought it was really nice and it feels lovely, like the faux leather feels so soft. It's got one pocket on, on one side, it looks pretty oversized, but yeah, anyway, this feels lovely and I will see how it feels on. Um, this is the Topshop one, and I think I actually prefer the style of this with the black poppers going down and then a pocket on either side. It just looks 
a little more of a slim fit than that one. Um, to be fair, you can't really tell until you've got them on, but again, the faux leather feels really nice and it looks nice quality compared to what some faux leathers can look like. Um, and then I just hold them close up so you can compare the quality of the leather. This one is the H&M one on the left and this is the Topshop one on the right. Um, and you can see that the leather on the H&M one looks slightly better quality, it is slightly thicker. Okay, so this time I'm going to start off with the Topshop one. And this is how the Topshop shirt looks on. And it feels lovely, like it's fleece lined, so it's really, really soft on the inside. I've not got anything underneath it apart from a bra, and it feels really nice on the skin. Um, it's not uncomfortable or squeaky. Love the simplicity of the black poppers, and I really like the way it looks. Just opened up a little bit with the sleeves rolled up and styled quite casually like this with jeans and black boots. But then I also think it looks quite cool when it's buttoned up to the top as well. The only thing I would say about this one is that it is quite oversized, so there's quite a lot of fabric. I did try and tuck it into the jeans, and there was just a bit too much fabric to tuck in. You kind of have to fold it over and then sort of twist it and tuck it, oh, and tuck it in. Um, so yeah, that's the only thing I would say is that there is a lot of fabric, so it's quite oversized. So if you want it to fit a little bit more snug, then size down in this one. And then this is how the H&M one looks on. And again, it is very oversized. It feels more like a jacket, this one, just because it is a little bit thicker and a little bit longer and it's got pockets as well. Um, so yeah, I think this would be worn more as a jacket. You could even put a hoodie underneath this one. And it would also look really cool, buttoned up and with some super skinny black jeans as well. But it's also lined, not fleece lined, but it is lined and it feels really comfortable on the skin. And like I mentioned before, the faux leather of this one is really, really lovely. So I don't know which one I prefer out of these two. I think if you're looking for more of a shirt jacket um, that you could layer up and a bit more warmth, then I would probably go with the H&M one. But if you wanted one that you could probably tuck in and dress up a little bit more smarter, then I would probably say the Topshop one. But yeah, both really nice faux leather shirts. Okay, if you've been watching some of my fashion videos the past few months, or if you follow me on Instagram, then you'll probably know that I own a pair of black croc effect boots, similar to this, and I have just been living in them. I literally wear them almost every day. Um, and I get so many questions about them. So I spotted these ones on H&M and thought they'd be a really good pair of boots to feature in this comparison video. Um, obviously as a pair from Topshop coming up as well. But I just thought these looked really nice. I love the fact that they had a chunky platform sole to give a little bit of height if you want it. Um, obviously they are faux leather, um, but they still look pretty good quality. And I like the fact the croc effect is I mean, is it croc or snake? Anyway, I quite like the fact that it's quite small and subtle. Hopefully they'll be in here. Oh yeah. Oh, they're nice. Oh, I think I prefer those. They are lovely. These are the Topshop ones. And I actually, on first impressions, prefer the style of these. I'll just grab the other one to compare it. And they are both really nice, but these just look slightly more expensive. I quite like the shape of the sole with that chunky heel. Um, and I love the black laces on them as well. I think they look a little bit more subtle. Um, yeah, they're a really nice shape, aren't they? So yeah, they're both really nice. Um, they're very similar to my ASOS ones, so obviously I won't keep either of these. But I'll pop them on with an outfit as well, so you can see how they look on. Okay, so the first pair that I've got on are the H&M ones. And I ordered these in a size four, and I am a four and a half, some places I'm a four, some places I'm a five. Um, so I thought I'd go for the four, and they are a little bit tight, so I would say if you are in between sizes like me, then do size up. Um, they feel pretty comfortable. The only thing I would say is that sometimes when there's a platform, there's not that much movement. You kind of feel a little bit like you're rocking a little bit in them. I did just walk around like the kitchen and I kind of felt a little bit clumpy. Um, but I think with this style of boot, that is to be expected. And they do also come in black leather as well. They've sold out in my size when I was doing this video. Otherwise, I would have ordered them. Um, but they're so nice. So if they are available again, I will leave them linked below. And then these are the Topshop ones on. And I definitely prefer the way these look and feel on. I ordered these in a size UK4 as well, and if anything, they're like 
a little bit too big maybe so definitely size down in these ones if you like these and up in the H&M ones but yeah I just really like the way these ones look they feel comfortable and I like the subtle black laces on them as well um, so yeah I would definitely say that Topshop wins this time that is so nice next up is a rather lovely blazer and this one is from H&M um, it feels really lovely and soft but still really structured at the same time it looks a lot lighter well not a lot but it looks a little bit lighter on camera than what it is it's more of kind of like a beigey marl color in the flesh um, I ordered this one in a size UK 8 and I just love the fact that it had the double breasted style but it's also got a um, belt to cinch it in. I just think that would look really, really nice styled up. Oh, it's going to be a close one between these two. <gasps> How lovely is that? This is the Topshop one and this again just looks gorgeous. Like the fabric is beautiful. I love the style of the buttons. This feels, considering it's been in packaging as well, there's not a single crease on it. In fact, let me just compare the two fabrics. So on the left is the H&M one, and then this is the Topshop one on the right. Okay, so first up is the Topshop blazer, and this is just the most perfect cream blazer. I love everything about it. I feel like it's the winner before I've even tried the H&M one on. Um, I have just rolled up the sleeves a couple of times because I quite like the way it sits like that with them rolled up. That's how I style it quite casually like this, with jeans and a t-shirt and some chunky trainers. Um, but then I also think it would look lovely with a black roll neck underneath and some black skinny jeans or leather trousers. It would look lovely with a white shirt underneath. But then you could also wear it as workwear as well. It's just a really beautiful blazer, especially for coming into spring and summer as well. Um, so yeah, very much like this. Nothing negative to say about it. Okay, this blazer is gorgeous as well. The fabric feels really lovely and comfortable on. I'm loving these buttons here. The only thing with them though is that you can't roll the sleeves up like I could with the Topshop one. Um, but you can sort of pull it and then tuck it underneath which works just as well. Love the colour of it, love the fit of it. It's, again, it's got a little bit of padding on the shoulders which gives a really lovely shape. And to top it off, the belt gives such a lovely shape as well and really cinches your waist in and just looks so cool. And I also think it would look amazing done up with a roll neck and some leather trousers and some heeled ankle boots and it would just look so chic styled like that. The only thing I would say about this one is that it does seem like it creases a little bit more than the Topshop one. Um, with the Topshop one I rolled the sleeves up and then rolled them down after and there wasn't a crease in sight. Whereas this one you can see there are a few little lines in the fabric, it just looks a little bit, a little bit dishevelled. Okay the next thing that I ordered is some loungewear. And I ordered a set from H&M and a set from Topshop as well. Um, these are the H&M bottoms and they are a really soft, fine knit bottom. I love the way they taper in at the bottom. I just like that shape in a jogging bottom. And yeah, they feel lovely. They're very simple. They've got the really simple string on the waist. And then this is the matching top. And again, this feels so lovely and soft and the quality looks really good as well. It actually looks very similar to the White Company tracksuits that are gorgeous but obviously a lot more expensive than this. Um, I ordered this one in a size small as well and it looks a pretty standard size small um, and yeah I'm excited to try that on because it feels lovely. Oh they also feel lovely. They're really soft as well. They're a different fabric to the H&M ones. They were fine knit, whereas these are more of kind of like a brushed sort of jogger fabric. Um, but again, they are very soft. They look a really kind of simple style of jogging bottoms. And these were only 22 pounds as well, which is really good. And then this is the matching top for the Topshop one. And obviously this is a different style again to the H&M one. There isn't a zip or a hood. But I really like both styles. I, I would wear them both. This tracksuit is an absolute dream. I love it. The fabric feels so nice on. It just feels really soft, but really good quality as well. Size-wise, the top fits me perfectly in a small. I don't think I'd want it any smaller. It's just got a little bit of room on the arms, but fits nicely. 
and the bottoms I would probably say I could size down because they are a little bit loose around the hips and I have just turned them up once at the bottom because they felt a little bit too long so I'd probably say size down in the bottoms or go for your usual size if you want them to be a little bit looser and standard size in the top as well. The only thing I would say is that the bottoms haven't got any pockets. The top does, but the bottoms don't. Um, but in a way, it kind of makes it a little bit more streamlined on the hips and a little bit more flattering. So, yeah, you win some, you lose some. And then this is the Topshop one on. And again, this feels really lovely. It's very soft. It's super comfortable. It feels like pyjamas. And they say that this one is definitely more sort of loungewear, whereas the other one feels a little bit more luxurious or I don't know like a nice flight outfit or something um so again I'm not comparing the exact same items so it's difficult to completely compare I think you probably get a little bit more for your money with the H&M one just because it does feel that little bit better quality and it just feels a little bit more special whereas this one is a bit more basic but still really lovely and really wearable and the kind of thing that I wear probably too much <laughs> more than I should that's quite a bit thinner than I thought it was going to be. It's definitely more of a spring coat rather than a winter coat. Um, but the next thing that I ordered is two smart sort of straight fitting coats. And I wanted to compare two coats, but there weren't really that many similar ones at Topshop and H&M. These were the two most similar-ish I could find. And this first one is from H&M and it's just a very simple, smart, straight cream coat. And I just thought that this would look lovely with a pair of jeans and a t-shirt styled quite simply. Sorry, keep saying simple. Um, but this one was really reasonable as well. It was about 30-ish, 30 to 40 pounds. And then this is the Topshop one. And this feels a lot more like a proper coat that will keep you warm rather than more of a spring coat. Um, although it's not too thick, so this could transition quite well from winter to spring. Um, but as you can see, they are quite a similar style, just that straight fitting classic coat. Okay, so first up is the H&M coat. This is actually a lot nicer on than I thought it would be. The fabric feels really nice, despite the fact that it is quite thin, it still feels nice quality, especially considering the price as well. Um, I've popped on over the top of this chunky roll neck jumper just because it is quite big. Um, so I would definitely say to size down in this one. It is very oversized. So I think it works like this with a chunky jumper this time of year. But then as it gets a bit more into spring, it would be quite nice over the top of a t-shirt and jeans because like I said, it is quite lightweight. Again, this one feels really lovely on. It is a little bit oversized as well. So I have just popped it on over the top of the same chunky knit just to fill it out a little bit more. Um, but it is a really good length. I'm five foot six and I'd say it's a perfect length for this sort of style of jacket and feels very soft and just a bit warmer than the other one as well. The only thing I'd say about this one is that the pockets are here. So you kind of, if you put your hands in your pocket, you're going down and I would prefer to go in rather than down, but that's the only thing. Okay, the next thing I ordered is just a classic white shirt. Just because I think a good white shirt is a really good staple piece for your wardrobe. I love the way they look dressed down with a pair of mum jeans or smartened up with a blazer. So this is the H&M one. It looks very simple. The buttons are white. The cuffs are nice and simple. It's got quite puff sleeves, which I thought would be really lovely. Um, and it looks quite oversized. This is a size extra small and you can see it is quite a large extra small. And then this is the Topshop one. And again, it's very oversized. I ordered this in a UK six. You can see it looks quite big for a six. It's got the wide puffy sleeves again, and then some nice sort of narrow cuffs with two buttons on them. Okay, so I'm starting off with the Topshop one again. And when I said that these shirts were oversized, I was not exaggerating. They are very oversized. Considering this is a size UK six, but I quite like it. I like the way it looks styled like this. I've just popped it on with the blue mum jeans from H&M and some nude strappy sandals. And I'd probably just pop a black blazer on as well to finish off the outfit if I was styling it like this. Um, but again, I also think you could wear this with trainers and a leather jacket over the top as a bit more of a casual day look. 
like the big cuffs and I like the puffy sleeves as well. And I'd actually probably just pull them up a little bit and maybe wear it slightly more like that just to exaggerate the puff on the sleeves a bit more as well. So this is the Topshop one. I like it, but it's very oversized. I will try on the H&M one and see how that looks. And then this is the H&M one on, and I would probably say that this one feels a little bit more easy to wear, a little bit more easy to style, because it's not quite as long. You could tuck it in, and it doesn't feel like, you know, when you put your hand in your pocket in the other one, it felt like there was quite a lot of fabric there. But I did love that long, oversized look of the Topshop one as well. So. I'm not sure. They are both 100% cotton. The cuffs on the Topshop one felt a little bit better quality. They felt a little bit thicker, but yeah, there's not really much in it. Apart from length, I'd say they are both very similar shirts. Okay, next up are a pair of smart black cigarette trousers. And I think these look amazing styled up for work, dressed up quite smart, but they also look really cool styled up with a pair of like white pumps and a long coat during the day kind of making them a little bit more casual so i ordered two pairs obviously these first ones are from h&m these are size eight and these have actually got an elastic waistband the fabric feels really nice it's got a little bit of a stretch to it um, but it's very black and quite thick as well it definitely wouldn't be see-through and then they've got the crease down the front as well okay so i just about managed to squeeze these trousers on because Although they've got an elasticated waistband, there's not that much give to it and there's no zip or anything. So they were quite tricky to get over the bottom. But once they're on, they actually fit really well and they feel really comfortable and the waistband sits at a really nice sort of snug place. So it's just, as long as you can get them on, you'll be fine. <laughs> um, you also may have noticed that I didn't show you the Topshop ones before because when I was looking through the bag, there were no Topshop ones but they have just arrived in their own little bag. So these are the Topshop ones, and I will try these on now, but I thought I would just quickly show you them off. Um, but they feel really lovely, and they do have a zip, so hopefully they'll be a little bit easier to squeeze into. Um, but yeah, love these H&M ones. Really like them kind of styled quite simply like this, but I also think they look nice with like a T-shirt and a leather jacket to make them even more casual during the day. And then obviously they would be perfect as workwear. And then these are the Topshop ones. And first off, they were a lot easier to get on having a zip. Um, I also like the fact that the zip is hidden as well. So it just looks very sort of clean and the pockets are quite clean as well. They don't pucker out or anything. Um, they're very black, which is good. I did actually put them on with my black blazer, but they made my blazer look navy blue because they're so black. Um, but I do like them styled with a roll neck and a blazer and trainers as kind of like a smart casual look and then you could just pop them on with a pair of loafers or heels to just dress them up a lot more as workwear um so yeah both pairs of trousers are really nice these were easier to get get into so for me they're a winner um but i did really like the way the h&m ones looked on as well and again the cleanness of not having a zip it just made this a lot sort of flatter i guess they're both really nice trousers, but I think Topshop just pip it for me. Okay, next up is this nude puffer jacket. And I am just loving puffer jackets at the moment. I tried lots on in my H&M video the week before last. Um, but I just love the way they look, but they're also so comfortable as well. And I have actually been wearing, Lou's got like a plain black one, and I've actually been wearing his loads recently. This one is the H&M one, and this is just a really lovely shade of sort of nudey grey. It looks nice quality, it was pretty reasonable, I think it was only about 30-ish pounds. Um, and then it's just got a really simple silver zip. And then this is the Topshop one. And this one is a little bit more cropped than the H&M one, it kind of looks like it comes up a little bit shorter. Um, and again, it's got the drawstring on the bottom as well. Quality wise, I'd say on first impressions, this probably looks slightly better, but this one was more expensive. This one was 55 pounds. Um, and then if I show you next to each other, this one is obviously slightly more of a gray, maybe a hint of lilac. Um, and I think I prefer the nudie tones of this one. Okay, so we'll start for the H&M one. And this feels pretty lightweight on, although it does still feel like it would keep you warm. 
Um, it's got elasticated cuffs and then at the bottom it's got a little toggle that you can pull to sort of cinch the bottom in and make it a little bit more cropped and puffy if you want to. Um, like the colour, feels nice and soft and comfortable. Um, yeah, it's just a nice, basic, easy little puff puffer jacket. And I'm pretty sure this comes in quite a few different colours as well. So I will try and leave the different colours linked below as well. And then this is the Topshop one. And this is a bit more cropped than the H&M one. It sits a little bit higher. Um, but it has also got the same toggles at the bottom. So you could wear it even higher if you wanted to. Um, the cuffs are a little bit nicer on this one. It's got a bit more of a thick band on the cuff. And the only thing I say about this one is the fact that the pockets go down again like the coats did rather than going in um, and I think if you're wearing this to go on a dog walk or a beach walk you'd want to be able to put your hands in a bit more I don't know it just feels like a little bit high up and then the last thing that I ordered to compare is this black ribbed midi skirt and again love the way these look especially coming into spring with a pair of trainers and a white t-shirt and a blazer or a leather jacket over the top. The fabric of this one feels so soft. It feels lovely. Um, and it looks like a good length as well. I'm not sure if it's got a slit at the side. No, it hasn't. And then this is the Topshop one. And on first impressions, I'd say I probably prefer the fabric of the H&M one, just because it's a little bit softer. Um, but this one does look really nice. It's got a nice thick waistband. It's probably a little bit longer than the H&M one as well, but obviously you'll be able to see that a bit better when they're on. I'll just show you a little bit closer so you can compare the fabric. This is the H&M one and this is the Topshop one. So you can see this is a slightly more of a ribbed fabric, whereas this is more of a fine rib. Okay, so the first skirt I've got on is the H&M one. And as suspected, it feels so lovely on. It's very soft and comfortable and it just feels lovely. Um, but size-wise, it doesn't fit as well as it could. Um, I would want to wear it here on my waist, like at the sort of smallest part of your waist. But when it's there, there's too much fabric at the back. Um, so you kind of have to wear it a little bit lower, which feels a little bit, yeah, just like it's not sitting in the right place, um, which would be fine. If you were going to wear it with like an oversized T-shirt or like a long jumper or something over the top, it'd be fine. But if you wanted to wear it with a, like this, with a t-shirt tied in a knot, then you may want it to sit a little bit higher. And then this is the Topshop one, and this one fits a lot better on the waist than the H&M one did. The waistband is really tight, not too tight, but it kind of just sits where you want it to sit, and yeah, it fits properly. Um, Lengthwise, this one's a little bit longer than the H&M one. I'd probably prefer the length of the H&M one, being that little bit shorter. Um, but yeah, really nice, both nice skirts really. Okay, so that's everything for my H&M versus Topshop video. I would love to know who you thought came out on top, so do leave a comment and let me know, H&M or Topshop. Um, if you did enjoy the video, please do give it a thumbs up because it's super helpful for me and it means that I know that you're enjoying this type of video and it means I can create more videos like this. Um, and speaking of which, if you would like to see more comparison videos, then leave a comment and let me know which shops you'd like me to compare, if you've got any suggestions at all. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. My face will pop up somewhere here now. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Goodbye!